And welcome back. Let's go back out to Joy in downtown Springfield for another look at Zyka Indian cuisine. Joy. Oh, gosh, Tom, I've learned so much. You know, I, as, as often as I eat here, I have not even scratched the surface of the menu. This is Matthew Fernandez, Hi. also of Zyka Indian Queen. Now, you kind of take care of the front of the house. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how many tables do you have in here? We have almost 30 tables. You have about, yeah. about 30 tables. Yeah. By the way, they have a really nice little patio that sits right off yeah. of Jefferson out here. Um, has Springfield taken to Indian cuisine the way I think that we have? Yeah. People like it, right? Like it, oh yeah. No. <laughs> People like the spicy food. When they come over here, I just say, you want extra hot? It's super hot. And they're just like. <laughs> and they say yes to the extra hot. Some of them. Some do. <laughs> yeah, okay, some now, here's the thing. If you're not sure, I wouldn't advocate you get it extra hot if you're not used to it, if that makes sense. Tread lightly, start small, right? Yeah. yeah. But it Mine. is all so delicious. All right, we're going to look at a few more uh, of the dishes here. Tell me what this is. That's a chicken and egg fried rice. Okay. It's like Indo Chinese. Okay. That's a chicken 65. Okay, chicken 65. Now, Matthew was telling me traditionally this is made with 65 spices. I see, yeah. Can you even imagine? Okay, so what is it? Is this a sweet or is it a savory or is it a hot? It's like sweet and sour, like a little bit sweet, sour, and spicy. A little bit of all of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we showed you the tikka masala and the butter chicken, and like yeah. I said, a lot of times you'll find it in a you know a container like this, and you'll have the rice, the basmati yeah. rice, maybe with some peas, and you pour it right over the top of the rice. Yeah. This one is one that I have heard of, but I'll be honest with you, Matthew. Yeah. I don't know that I've had it. What is this one called? That's a vegetable korma. A vegetable korma. Uh, yeah. And now the pieces of red that you're seeing in here, I asked him what that is. It's, it's the cherries? Cherries and the nuts. So there, way, yeah. there are nuts, there are vegetables, and then pieces of cherry. Yeah. Okay, so this is something that's on a little bit sweeter side. Yeah, sweeter side. But nuts and raisin and the cherries, you know. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you say is the most popular dish in here? That's a chicken tikka masala, butter chicken, and a vegetable korma. Okay, so these are the ones that are most popular. Yeah. Okay. Talk about your buffet, because I know you do a buffet, buffet most, yeah. is it every day or just weekdays or what? We used to do, but we don't have now. Oh, okay. Because of COVID, yeah. Oh, because of COVID, you're not doing you're the, not buffet the buffet yeah. at all. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Will you bring it back? Yeah, we will. Okay. Yeah, people love the buffet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, people, I know people <laughs> love the buffet. And that's what, you know, a lot of times you'll tell people, if you haven't had the Indian food, go in there and try the buffet. That way you can have a little, a little bit of bit everything. everything. Yeah. Talk about, tell me about the drinks. We didn't really go into the drinks too much. This is a yogurt. Yogurt is a big deal in India. Yeah. Is it, it's an ingredient, but you also will tenderize meat in yogurt, meat, correct? Yeah. Tandoori entrees, we tenderize you to do. get it soft, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's, what's going on with the lassi? Lassi, I have a, this is mango. We have a mango flavor with the yogurt and the sugar. That's it. And blend it. <laughs> It looks like something. It's smoothie. Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's a little bit it's like, like a smoothie. It's like an Indian smoothie, yeah. <laughs> what do you, do you have a kid's menu here? A children's menu? Yeah, we do have a chicken nugget, french fries, the like American type. But uh, we have a chicken pakora. It's a deep fry with lentil flowers. Really? Yeah. Okay, so a chicken pakora, you yeah. call it? Okay, yeah. so there, there are sort of traditional foods that your kids are used to having all the time. Yeah. You know, if they're. If they're a little bit picky, they might just want their chicken fingers, but they should really branch out. Do you find that kids really learn to adore this food? Like the Oh, parents? yeah. <laughs> they like the butter chicken. Butter chicken. Yeah. Good place to start the kids. Yeah. What do you offer here for desserts? Dessert, we have a rice pudding, and we have a gulab jamun. It's like pastry ball in a honey syrup that's most popular, and we do make the pista or mango kulfi, homemade ice cream. A homemade ice cream. Yeah. I forgot about that. I've had your ice cream. It's delicious. Yeah. Okay, so you have several tables. You have a lovely outdoor space. You have a full bar. bar. Yeah, we do. And you can sit and eat at the bar if you want to. Yeah. And again, um, you have a lot of people here in Springfield that have completely converted to loving Indian food, sometimes more than once a week. Oh, yeah. Two times. One person has come every day, five days a week. 
<laughs> I'm kind of one of those. Matthew and Sanjay, thank you so much. Thank Zyka you so Indian much. Indian Cuisine. It's just a little bit north of Walnut on Jefferson Street. You can't miss it. Um, and bring me with you when you come because I love it that much. You know that. Tom, back to you. All right.